Guys, the Premier League is back. It's been an interesting summer with transfers, managerial changes, and lots of drama off the pitch. So let's jump into my predictions for the season. Now, starting with our bottom place team, I feel like a lot of you might disagree with me on this one, but I'm gonna put Southampton at the bottom. I'm not gonna lie, they aren't a team that I'm very optimistic about. This team just really doesn't have that much Premier League experience from their manager to their players. They've lost Shea Adams, Stuart Armstrong. I just can honestly see them struggling quite a lot this season. They have been quite busy in the transfer market and have brought new players in, but whether they're actually gonna make an impact, I'm not so sure, which is why I'm putting them in 20th place. So moving on to that second relegation spot in 19th, I'm gonna put the team that has not been in the Prem for 22 years, Ipswich. As much as I admire what Ipswich Town have done, I do still think they're gonna to struggle to stay up. I honestly just think that the Premier League is such a huge step up compared to the Championship. They have made some good signings and Amari Hutchinson staying is a huge plus for them. But again, I do think that lack of Premier League experience is gonna be hard to overcome. Kieran McKenna has so far done an incredible job with this team, but I do still see them getting relegated at the end of the season. Now, that 18th spot, I think, has been one of the hardest positions to place for me. Because, obviously, Leicester have just come up, but I have high hopes for Leicester. For my 18th spot, I'm gonna put Nottingham Forest. I honestly hate to say it, I would love to see Forest stay up again. Now, Forest have had some decent transfers, and they had a lot of unlucky decisions go against them last season. I think if they, they do manage to avoid relegation, they will scrape through. I just have a feeling that this season is gonna be their season to go back down. They are very strong at home, so that could be their saving grace, but I'm gonna stick with my gut and put them in 18th place. Now, moving up to 17th, I do think that Leicester and Forest are going to be the two teams battling for relegation this season. Now, losing Jewsby Hall has weakened their squad and I do think they're going to struggle. But they have got Steve Cooper who's come in, who I personally think did great things at Forest. Relegation could be on the cards for them, but I do think they will just hold on. Moving up the table into that 16th place, I'm putting Bournemouth. They had an incredible season last year and they have made some good signings with Sinistera from Leeds. However, they have lost Solanke, who was a huge part of of their success last season. And so I think this could spell trouble for them. I personally don't think they'll get relegated, but I do think they're gonna be a lot lower than they placed last season. Now for me, that 15th place is going to Brentford. I honestly thought Tony would be leaving Brentford this season. However, it's looking like he'll be staying, but they still really struggled last year and had a really poor season. So they do need to find some consistency this year. Whether they actually find it or not is another question. Again, I think they'll avoid relegation, but I think they'll be pretty low on the table, which is why I've put them in 15th. Now, 14th, I'm going with Wolves. I remember at the start of last season, a lot of people expected Wolves to really struggle and potentially face relegation. However, they, I think they did a lot better than people were expecting. I'm not entirely happy with the list I've made and I do think Wolves could actually finish a lot lower than this because they've lost players like Hillman and Pedro Neto. So I do think this is quite a high placing for them, but I do think they'll be around that 15th place spot. Now, 13th place, I'm going with Brighton. I think this is gonna be a transitional season for them. I don't care what anybody says, Brighton were really average last season. Over the last few transfer windows, they have lost a lot of their key players and obviously with De Zerbi gone as well now, I do think they're gonna struggle. I can see them finishing mid-table this season. I don't expect a lot from Brighton this season. Now, moving up to that 12th spot, I am putting in Everton. I feel like Everton have been on a downward trajectory for a while and then they have obviously had their point deduction last season which obviously didn't help. I think towards the end of last season they started to show up a bit more. I think they'll just cruise by without too much drama. I can't see them getting relegated but I don't see them finishing top half of the table. Now 11th place I'm gonna go with Fulham. I actually think they could do better than this this season though. They have lost some players but I do think they'll still be a solid team. I don't see them struggling. Again I think a mid-table finish is on the cards for them. Now moving up to the top half of the table I've really struggled placing a few of these bottom teams. I think it's going to be so close this season. There's so many teams up there. Now that 10th place spot I'm going to give it to West Ham. Now obviously the David Moyes era is over. He's just left. I do think they've made some good signings with the likes of Somerville, Kilman, coming in. They have been very busy this transfer window. I do think they'll do well this season but I do also think there's a lot of teams that will also do well and so this is why I've put them in 10th place. Now 9th place I'm giving to Crystal Palace. 
They started to have a much better season under Glasner. Losing Elise has been a huge blow to them and still the potential of Eze leaving as well. I think I'm actually going to change my mind and put Crystal Palace in 10th and West Ham in 9th. If both of those players leave, I think Crystal Palace could really struggle without them. They have brought in some new faces. Whether they're going to be that impactful, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But I think they'll have a solid mid-table finish. Now, 8th place. I hate to say it, but I'm going to put Newcastle in 8th. Although they have no Champions League football to distract them this season, and I do think Eddie Howe is a great manager, last season they had so many injuries. If this happens again, they're just going to be in exactly the same boat. And without that squad depth, I think they're going to struggle to get that top six spot. So this is why I've put them in eighth. Now, seventh place, I hate to say it, but I'm putting Chelsea. I honestly think we are going to be so hit or miss this season. Preseason did not give me much confidence. And I know that doesn't really mean much, but it was not looking good at times. We've obviously got Enzo Maresca come in. Then we've got a new manager again. It just feels like we're back at square one. We've had, we've got players who are barred from even using first team facilities. We've got players leaving. We've got number of players come in. We've got eight goalkeepers. Our club is a mess. Our club is genuinely a mess right now. I will be surprised if we get a top six finish again. I'm really, really hoping that I'm wrong, but from what I've seen and what I know about this club, I can't give us that top six spot. We are an absolute mess. So that is why I've put us in seventh. As I said, unbiased opinion. If this was a biased video, I would be putting us in that top six, top four spot, but I just can't, I can't see it happening. I just cannot realistically see it happening. We have got amazing players, but nothing seems to click. I genuinely think this manager could be gone by Christmas. I think we'll be back at square one again, and I can't predict us any higher or even for a European spot with the current state of the club. So moving up the table to those top six spots, in sixth place, I'm putting Man United. Ten Hag is staying this season. I'm not convinced he is the right manager for the job. I was actually very surprised that he did end up staying. Obviously they won the FA Cup. I guess that was part of the reason behind that, but I just personally don't think he's the right man for the job. However, he is just brought all of his Dutch players over to United. You've obviously got Delete come in, but also they're going to be competing in Europe and their league performance last season just wasn't that great. Can I see them improving on that? Not really. I think they'll get that top six spot again, but I don't think they'll finish much higher than that. So top five. In fifth place, I'm putting Aston Villa. Personally, don't think they're going to struggle as much as Newcastle did last year, having that Champions League football. I do think they'll drop points. I don't think they'll hold on to that top four spot, but they were a really strong team last season. Very, very stable. So I'm going to put them back up there and give them that fifth place spot. It'll be really interesting to see how they perform with that Champions League football. As I said, I've tried to be as unbiased as possible, and I hate it. As a Chelsea fan, this is awful. That fourth place is going to Spurs. Now, Postacoglu has exceeded expectations so far. He's done a lot better than I thought he, he would do. He's done a lot better than most people I speak to thought he would do. He has so much passion for such a shit club. Spurs just don't have a winning mentality. I think he could be the one to turn it around. I think they'll be in for a good season. They've obviously just signed Solanke, which is a brilliant signing for them, but it is Spurs, so you never know. Will they be able to handle the pressure? I guess we'll have to wait and see, but I am putting them in that top four spot. They were so close last season. I do think they'll get it this year. Now that third spot, I'm going with Liverpool. I'm not gonna lie, they are gonna struggle without Klopp. Without a doubt. I think everybody knows it. As much as I think Slot is a great manager, it's going to take them some time to adjust, but they still do have a solid squad. And so I think that they will hold on to that third place. It won't be the same force we've seen in recent years, but I do think they've got a very strong foundation and a solid team. So that is why they are third place for me. Now, top two. This is the question on everybody's mind. Will City do it? Will Arsenal bottle it again? What do we think? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. They will definitely be in the title race again, without a doubt. And I do still think they're obviously still the team to beat, but they have slowly been falling off. And with actually a fairly old team now, this will be the year that Arsenal actually claim the title. And they were only two points off last season. They've got closer and closer. Every year it's that final piece is missing. And this year, I think they will do it. They've had enough experience 
in that title race now that I think third time lucky, I think they will do it. I really hope for the Premier League sake that it is somebody different. I'd rather it wasn't Arsenal, but I think they're the best contender that we have currently. As much as it pains me to say it, and I know how unbearable Arsenal fans have been up until this point without winning anything, let alone when they do win something, I do think they're going to win it. I think Arsenal will win it this year. Man City actually still have 115 charges hanging over their head, so they might get relegated. You never know. Until we find out what's happening with those 115 charges, and let's be honest, they're probably just going to get a slap on the wrist and a fine. I think it's going to be another really tight title race this year, but I think Arsenal will pip it. So there you have it. That is my Premier League 24-25 season predictions. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and whether you agree or disagree with any of my picks. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.